if I was to tell you that these two channels right here were run by a 17 year old from the comfort of his own home, you'd probably call me crazy. His name is Nate Curtis and he grew a YouTube channel from 0 to 1000 subscribers with just one video. So today, I'm going to be breaking down the strategies he used to do this and how you can do it too. First, you need to understand how a video goes viral. When you first upload a video, YouTube will push this video out to a small number of viewers. If these viewers see the thumbnail, click on the video, and stay watching for a long duration of the video, YouTube will push the video out to more people and the process will repeat. But how does a YouTuber like Nate get people to click and stay watching? Well, it all starts with the title and thumbnail. The title and thumbnail are the first thing your viewer sees before deciding to click on your video. So making sure these two components are done correctly is a big step in this process. The title strategy that Nate uses is the too good to be true style. For example, how I monetized my channel in 30 days, or I made a game in one line of code. The thumbnails for all of Nate's videos are rather simple and give a visual representation of the title. He uses darker colors to make his text pop out, and he also adds glow to where he is trying to direct your attention. But now that he's gotten you to click, let's break down how he structures his videos to go viral. It all starts with a good hook. Let's watch. I made this entire video game without ever touching my computer. Let me explain. These are three of my closest friends. Not a single one of them has ever made a video game before, and I want to show them just why I'm so passionate about creating video games. So I'm going to push my game dev skills to the very max and attempt to teach them how to make an entire video game step by step without being able to create any of it myself. His intro starts with a high paced hook to keep the viewer engaged and provides a sense of curiosity that makes the viewer want to keep watching. He also includes lots of visual effects and sound effects to make sure the viewer doesn't lose interest before the video starts. Now that Nate has hooked the viewer, let's go over some of his editing tricks that he uses to keep the viewer watching. B-roll footage that he uses throughout his videos aren't even filmed by him. He uses free sites like Pexels or Pixabay to get his free stock footage. He also uses lots of text to keep you hooked. When the human brain sees words on a screen, it is going to read them. Kinda like how you're reading these words right now without even thinking about it. So Nate uses this to his advantage by strategically using text whenever there is not lots of other visual effects taking place. Another big takeaway from Nate's video editing is that he makes sure to keep his videos extremely high paced. Nobody wants to spend 30 seconds staring at stock footage, so Nate makes sure to cut every 1 to 5 seconds or so. This, along with his amazing visual effects and sound design, make for an amazing edit. A few bonus strategies that Nate uses when editing is to stop the music over important words he wants you to focus on, like this. Another thing he does is use multiple songs throughout his video. When he makes tutorial videos, he changes a song for every step of the tutorial. And the last strategy he uses is keeping a clean voiceover. If you have some spare cash laying around, invest money into a microphone for voiceovers. You will pay this off pretty quickly once you're monetized. As a faceless channel like Nate's, the voiceover is honestly one of the most important parts of the video, as this is setting the tone for your video. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and watch this video next.